What up, guys? Happy Easter Sunday, fun day, and we're gonna start April Fools tomorrow. So let's get to it for all you forex traders out there. So uh, I already sent out the weekly swing signals, and now I'm gonna go and talk into uh, a little bit more in depth with the uh, with the U.S. dollar. What we're gonna do with the currency trading here? So the plan is to keep selling the US dollar. I'm looking for the US dollar to come back down to 104 and then break back down to 103. Uh, indices, what I have for indices. Buying. Buying, okay, so buying all indices. So looking for US 30, uh, Wall Street to hit 40,000 and up. Buying s p looking for s p to break 5300 and then we'll see if it makes anything higher than 5300 for this week and then nas 100 is back down but i'm still expecting for 18.5 and so looking for another two 300 point range to go back up and then we will see how much more uh they're gonna try and keep up their uptrend here other than that, they're still uptrending, so I don't foresee any major possibilities of a mass reversal yet, unless something major happens in the markets here. So uh, let's see, selling US dollar, buying gold. Gold has been on a tremendous move back up here at 22.33, uh, a new high for gold. Uh, so looking to keep buying gold, bullish on gold until something major happens. I was looking for it to drop back uh, last week, which it did not. So looking for gold to hit 2300 this week. And then we'll see how much more they're going to try to drive this price up here for gold here. Selling UJ back down, looking for UJ to break back down to 150. And then 149 would be my final TP. And then uh, selling U Swiss back down. Selling the Swiss franc back down to 90, what was that? 90, Break back down to 90 and then to hit 89. And then the final move would be to break 88. And then selling UK back down to break 135. And then the next move for UK to break down to 134. And then buying the euro, you this pair. The euro British pound back to 86 and then the max move would be be the break above 86 back to 87. Let's see what we we do. Buying the euro back to 108 and then back to 109. I think that's as high as I want to go. I don't know if it's going to shoot 110. Selling the pound back to 126 to break back down to 125. Break the support at 126 to 125. And then the next final move would be 124. And then selling the Australian dollar back down to 65. And then the next move would be 64. And then we'll see how much more it's going to drop down if it goes below 64. And then um, shorting, selling New Zealand dollar back down to break 59. And then the next move would be to come break 58. Other than that, um, I think that's pretty much all I have. Do, oh, no, hold on, let me see I got... <clears throat> A lot of bank holidays for tomorrow, so Easter is still counted for tomorrow, even though Easter is today. Uh, let's see what else. I'm trying to see what is popping. NFP is this Friday? Cool. We got ADP employment on Wednesday, and then Friday, this Friday would be NFP. Nice. Cool. And then working with this new uh, prop firm, FX, FXify, I don't know what it's called. I don't know what I was going to call it. So on their 25K challenge account here, 
And then I'm actually going to try out their competition as well for uh, April. So make sure you make sure you guys check out their competition because I plan on doing it. And then like some working out the 25k account. The other concern right now is that a lot of prop firms. Um, to be honest with you guys, a lot of prop firms are just being they're being hit real hard with regulation. So, um. It is so tough right now to even work with any prop firm at this point. But uh, thanks to FXify uh, for actually hooking me up with this account. And I'm going to be tr trading 25K, two phase account here. And uh, we're going to actually get a chance to see how good this prop firm is. And also be do your due. Do your research on all the prop firms as well. But back to here, selling the US dollar index, buying gold, buying indices, selling all the US dollar pairs, selling UJ, we're selling U Swiss, we are selling UCAD, we're buying Euro British pound, buying Euro, selling the pound, buying Australia, buying New Zealand. Nope. Given the fact this is all weekly swing signals, your daily, your daily intraday signals are going to get switched out every twenty four hours. So, any questions about the analysis, let me know in the chat group. Other than that, it's all got for you guys. Happy Easter Sunday, fun day, and uh, anything else? Let me know. Peace. All right, guys, let's talk about what we're doing for crypto here. Uh, I already sent out the signals. Just trying to get back into here, guys. All right. So we're buying all cryptocurrencies for this week. Looking for Bitcoin to hit 72,000 and then hit the major high of 73,600 for this week here. Uh, I am bullish on all cryptocurrencies for this week. Uh, be mindful that uh, we are coming into the start of April. So tomorrow is going to be April 1st. Happy Easter to you guys. Let's see here. Let's get to it. Uh, looking for Ethereum to hit 3,700 and then to, to hit right back to 4,000 in the value. Uh, let's see here. Litecoin. Buying Litecoin for 104. And then we'll see if it makes it move back to 109. Shiba coin looking for Shiba to hit back to 325 and then make a move back to 350 here. And then looking for Dogecoin to hit 22 cents and then to hit back up to 23 cents in value. Buying Ripple back to 65, that'd be the first target. And then the next move would be back to 67. And then the final move would be 70 cents in value here. Neo, buying Neo for $17. That's going to be the first resistance to look at to break through up. And then after there, I'd be looking for 18 and 19. Uh, buying Dash for 40 and then looking for Dash to break above 40 back to 42. And then Solana, looking for Solana to make a move back to 200. If it does not break too high, I'm going to sell it back down. And then for Zcash, looking for Zcash to break 31. And then the next move will be to break 31 back to 32. And then finally, Tezos. Tezo coin. Let's see here. I'll be looking at as close to 144, 145. Uh, there was just a lot of resistance here at this price. And then I don't know if I'm going to go any higher than that. So, on that, uh, looking for one more bullish move here. Uh, for Bitcoin, and then we'll see how high they're going to try and shoot the price up even further. If it's not going to sustain this price, then I'd be looking to short uh, Bitcoin and all the other cryptocurrencies back down. But so that so far, we are just buying for this week. We start the new month tomorrow. Uh, it's Easter today. Hope you guys are having a great Easter. Other than that... That's all I got. You got. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Anything? Just let me know in the chat group, in Telegram, and then uh, other than that, 
that's pretty much all I have for the analysis and signals for cryptocurrency. Peace out.